Let's work in spreadsheets and we're going to look at Microsoft Excel. And there's a little feature that can help you with your formulas called the Evaluate Formula option. And let's see how that works. Now in Excel, there might be a time when you've got a very complicated uh, formula or calculation that you're trying to do, or you've using a spreadsheet from someone else and you're trying to figure out how their formula is working, or you want to just test how the actual results are being processed. Um, that can be quite daunting. So what you can do, so here we've got three examples. So let's take this example where we've got three tests and we're going to work out the final. And over here in this block, we can see there's, we can get the biggest value plus the average of the, like some, some weird calculations going on here. And if you want to test how that result's working, then you can use the evaluate formula function. I think the, the goal of this fun, of this formula was that your average, it's the, the, the best mark of the three tests and then the next best mark. So that's why it's the min and then the, the second largest. So the, the next, the average of the next or the average of the next two tests and that will then form a mark. You divide by two to get a mark out of whatever, a hundred, if those tests are out of a hundred. So what you can do is you can use the evaluate formula. So we're going to go at the top here to formulas and yeah, you'll see evaluate formula. So I'm on the cell that I want to evaluate. So I'm going to click on this option. And it'll bring this little box up and we can evaluate it step by step. And so we can see what the results are going to be, but we can also see the order that it's being processed. So in this case, we can see that the max of B4 to B6 is underlined first. So that's the part that's going to be evaluated first. So any bod mass that you've done, any brackets, this will show us the order that it's been done. So if there's a mistake, you can see, hey, that shouldn't be done at that particular point. How can I reevaluate my formula or change it so that it works the way I want it to work logically? So let's evaluate. So the max value of those three tests is 89. It then moves, it skips the average because it's got to go to this part first. Now it finds the smallest of the three tests, which I'm assuming would be 53. Boom, yes, it found the 53. Now it shifts to the large, second largest. So the second largest would be the 84. So we evaluate that. Boom. So now it's going to find the average of those two tests. So I'm going to evaluate that. Boom. And so that's the average of the bottom two tests, and that's the max value. And we're going to add those two together. If these are tests out of 100, that means that they would be a total of out of 200. So we're going to divide about two to convert it back to a value out of 100. So I'm going to add them together, and then we divide it by two. And there we go. That's how we get our result. So we can see that it's working quite nicely the way we would like it to do. So that's one example. Let's have a look at this example. If you remember your, your nested if statements and you want to check if this is working correctly. So yeah, we've got number of sales and depending on their sales depends on what their level is. Let's evaluate this formula. So let's click evaluate and we can see how it's working. In this case, we know that it should be in the middle range. So it's silver. So we're going to evaluate the A11. Is it less than 150? In this case, it's not. So let's see what it looks like. So it goes, hey, the 245, is it less than 150? That's false. So do you see how it's jumped away from this bronze part? Because it's false. It's jumped to the false part. So it's come to this part over here. So if I evaluate that, you see how it made the, the, the true part not applicable because it's false. So we don't need to even worry about the true part. So we are we in the false part running this if statement saying, okay, is the 250 greater than 300? And we evaluate it. That's also false. So inside this if statement, you see it's underlined. We just evaluated the if statement. It's going to say false. So it's going to go, okay, well then the it's not applicable. It's just the silver. So the silver jumps to the front. Evaluate. And so the silver is the result. And there we go. But if we had run it on the gold option, or the, let's say the bronze, let's do the bronze one. You'll notice that when we do this evaluate, this first bit is true. So it evaluates the bronze part and nothing else. So there you can see the difference in the two because it did just to the true part. Let's take this example. Here we're going to generate a code and it's based on a whole bunch of, of text functions based on our first name, surname, telephone number, and the type of employee. And if we evaluate that formula, we can try to work out what is actually happening. So we're going to First bit is it's going to do the left part there. It's going to take that J6, which is the telephone number, I think it is. Oh, no, J6 is the employee type. So it says employee. We're going to say left of it by one. 
In other words, get the first letter of the employee type, which it got. Boom. Then it's going to go to the mid, go get J5, which is the telephone number, and get from position 3, so 1, 2, 3, from the 8 for 3 characters, so 8, 4, 5. Boom. So it gets the 8, 4, 5. It's going to take that and put it onto the E. So it combines it. Now we get the J3, which is the J3. Is it J3? Okay. It's going to go left of 1. So it takes J3, that's John, left of 1, it's going to be the J value, boom. So the J gets added onto it, and then we're going to say right of J3 for 1, so we're going to get the last character of J, of John. So basically we're getting the first and the last character of the name, so that's the J, so J3 is going to be John, get the last character, right 1, and that's going to be an N, a little small N, and we're going to take that J and add it on, so we've got... E plus those three numbers from the telephone number plus a J, which is the first letter, and the N, which is the last letter of the first name. And it looks like we're going to do pretty much the same with the surname. We're going to get the first letter of Smith and the last letter of Smith. So that's where we get the S and the H, and it adds them on to our code. And then lastly, but not leastly, that upper function applies to everything, so convert everything into uppercase. So that small N and H is now going to be converted to uppercase and there we go. That's how you get your code. So yeah, it's, a little, it's just a little tool that can help you with your error checking if something's not working or if you're trying to figure out someone else's spreadsheet of what's actually happening. That evaluate formula can be quite useful. So uh, hopefully this video will be quite useful for you too. For more videos on Excel, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe. We'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment. Um, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.